Hey pipe smokers, Southern Piper here, and I am coming to you with my top five blends for 2022. And I'm gonna spend a few minutes with you here <clears throat> discussing kind of, you know, year in review, uh, some pretty cool stuff I've got and then and then I'll get into the uh, into my top five here so <clears throat> if you've been with my channel for uh, in a, a, a decent period of time mm, well about a year at least one of my goals this year was to expand my <clears throat> palette and start sampling new things, trying new things. And um, I wasn't big into Latakia blends. Um, and I wanted to, you know, gain an appreciation <clears throat> um, for more tobaccos. Uh, if you go back, you know, or, or if you've been following me for, you know, at least probably 11 or 12 months. Uh, you know, I, I think I started off, I would, I would say things like I'm an unapologetically, I'm an aromatics guy. And I still like aromatics. But, I wanted to venture out. I wanted to, you know, I thought I owed it to myself to try new things and, uh, you know, just broaden my smoking horizons, if you will. So I spent a lot of time with Latakia blends this this year. Um, some um, I would get through trade or or uh, you know have have a sample gifted to me. Uh, others I would buy an ounce, um, you know, and, and give it a try. Um, and really grew to appreciate uh, English's uh, Balkans and uh, also uh, gained uh, an affinity for uh, Virginia based uh, blends, vapors. So um, I say all that to say this year's top five is going to be heavily in the English uh, column, if you will. So, <clears throat> kind of took what I, uh, similar to, to my last year's method, um, I took what, um, you know, things that I tried new this year and kind of just what I smoked the most of out of those items. Okay, so that's that's how I came up with this. And it was extremely difficult to come up with five. Um, very difficult. But I was able to narrow it down. Um, <clears throat> and we'll get to that in just a minute. Now, I know some of you are sitting there wondering, why is Southern Piper back in his kitchen? Man, he hasn't been in his kitchen in forever. Uh, mainly just to have a, <clears throat> a setup here. You can't see it, but I'm at my kitchen table, and I've got all the tins that I'm going to show you all right, right there. Um, I didn't want to have to balance that in the living room or whatever, so... enjoying some tea 
this is um, Harney and Sons uh, holiday tea. All right, so before I get into my top five, I wanted to give y'all some, uh, this has been an amazing year for pipe smoking for me. Uh, and it's mainly because of the YTPC and finding, you know, a lot of you guys that live here locally, you know, building and growing the pipe club, you know, just having access to be able to sample other things has really helped. Um, for instance, uh, got to have a couple of bowls of a 30 year old McClellan Christmas cheer, uh, just last weekend. Uh, we had it at our pipe club meetup last weekend. Uh, it was from 1992. Uh, man, just smelled amazing. Uh, smoked in just impeccably well. Uh, it's amazing what what uh, 30 years did for that for that blend. Um, another one, uh, I had a, a, a nice sample gifted to me of Penzance from 2021. Um, you know, that was, that, I've enjoyed smoking that. It's, it's been really good. Um, another tobacco I got to sample, uh, and I probably, it was a, it was a nice sample. It was probably, uh, I bet I got four bowls out of it, of a 2017 Dunhill London mixture. Amazing, amazing. Uh, 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 just a, a, a mild, smooth, uh, English blend. Um, it's a shame that it's not made anymore because that was, I, I, I do feel that if I could have gotten more, um, that very well could have been my number one. I don't know, I say that about things all the time. But uh, another one that was pretty cool uh, what and I've got the empty tin sitting here in front of me was a uh, uh, it's 15 year old tin of uh, Cornell and Dill Low Country Wacama uh, or Wacama um, and it's a, a Virginia base it's got a little bit of um, Perique in it but uh, there's the empty tin if, if you go back to a video from a meetup this summer um, I don't I don't know when it would have been, probably probably June or July. Uh, we opened it and I filmed it and put it on there and it just like, like a bomb going off. It was an amazing uh, tin opening. But a great, uh, great smoke nonetheless. So, um, Let's talk about my top five. Now, the thing that's hard about this is it was really difficult to rank them because I smoked so many and to get those down to five, and I love all of these, very difficult. But, like I said, I did it. So, let's do this. So I'm gonna say my number five is LJ Peretti's uh, 150 blend, 150th anniversary blend, and you can see how much I like this because I bought a pound of it. Um, just a, a really good, uh, really good smoke. It's a Virginia, um, and another LJ Peretti that I bought that would probably be like first honorable mention, if you will, is London Flake, uh, which is a vapor, and it's a it's just a really good, uh, really good blend. Also, next. We have um, trying to mark these off. Bear with me. Uh, 
distinguished gentleman. Now this um, was probably one of the uh, earlier uh, blends I smoked with Latakia on my journey, but I liked it so much I wound up buying the big uh, tub um, and I've been enjoying it. So that's number four. And then we have Robert McConnell, Scottish Flake. Man, fantastic smoke. Um, I think I bought two tins of this um, at my, I, when would that have been? Back in the spring, maybe early summer. And, uh, Kind of blew through a tin of it in maybe a couple of weeks, and before they sold out, I think I wound up getting about eight or ten more tins, and uh, have smoked copious amounts of that this year. Really good blend. Um, next, so that was number four, right? Uh, next, we have um, no, that was number three. That was number three. The next blend, which would be number two, is Rattray's Red Rappery. Uh, Man, I found this back in the summer, and it wound up being my favorite morning smoke. Um, I just absolutely love it. Bought it as much as I could. Um, now, so that was five, four, three, two. Before I get to my number one. Um, I mentioned London Flake as, um, not London Flake, yeah, London Flake, LJ Perez London Flake was probably a, an honorable mention. I want to give another honorable mention, um, which is Kramer's Father Dempsey. And that's what I'm smoking now. Fine blend. Fine blend. I'm really glad that uh, they were able to keep Kramer tobaccos after they went out of business. Because I've enjoyed, I don't know how much of that I've smoked, probably, hmm, four or five tins. I've still got a couple more in my cellar. I need to get some more. But that's an honorable mention. Um, I don't have the tin in here with me, but another honorable mention is uh, Cornell and Dill's uh, First Responder. Uh, that is a vapor. Uh, they first blended it back in um, late 01 or 02 uh, to, to kind of salute first responders, obviously, in the name. But uh, really damn good tobacco. And then uh, I have two other honorable mentions. I don't have them here in front of me, but I want to mention them. Is um, Fourth Generation 1931 uh, was fantastic. I bought and cellared quite a bit of it, as well as uh, Robert McConnell's Honeydew. Um, was another one that I bought several tins and smoked a lot of, smoked a lot of there in the summer. Uh, so that's my top four plus some honorable mentions and now we'll get to my number one, um, which is 
Boswell's Mild English. Um, like I said, it was hard to come up with my top five, or at least rank them. But I really just fell in love with, with Mild English. Um, I spent a lot of time with it, and uh, it too is one that I enjoy smoking in the mornings. And we'll continue to enjoy smoking uh, uh, as long as it, as long as I can get it. Which obviously it's it's in uh, it's easily attainable because they still make it. Try that yet. So this has wound up being a lot longer of a video than I had anticipated. Uh, I'm interested to know what your uh, top blends were. You know, you can give me your number one, or if you have four or five or more, list them down below, share with me and, and other viewers, uh, you know, what you smoked, what you like this year, uh, you know, maybe give us some of us folks some ideas on what we may want to try if we hadn't tried it before. And if you've had any of the ones that I've mentioned here, uh, let me know your thoughts on those too. Uh, this will be my Wednesday review for, uh, What day would today be? I'm actually filming this on Sunday. It would be the 19th, it would be the 21st. Winter solstice. Uh, heading straight into Christmas this weekend. Um, if I don't see you beforehand uh, and I don't see you the day of, I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, a Happy New Year. Um, until I do see you again though, uh, dear friends, I bid you happy smoking and blessings to you and your family.